Hey guys, let's talk about the five tips to survive this holiday shopping season as a luxury retail shopper. All right, so I wanted to share this with you because this is just a, a real unique time to shop, right, for the holidays. And I figured that you would need um, some ammunition to, to know what you are up against if you really want this holiday season to work out for you. Um, specifically with just being able to get the product that you want, okay, um, without all the, the hassle or the stress of, um, you know, coming into the store and um, not knowing whether or not what you are looking for is going to be there or not. Okay. All right. So that said, um, let's start with tip number one. First thing is you want to contact your style advisor. Sometimes if you have a style advisor that you can reach out to before you show up, uh, don't be afraid to hesitate. Uh, don't hesitate to schedule an appointment with them, right? To say, Hey, look, I'm going to be there at one between one and three. That way they are already and actually, in some cases, can set aside a fitting room or a dressing room for you with everything that you're looking for laid out, right? To minimize you having to go through racks or uh, walk around the store and still not be able to find what you're looking for, right? So coordinate and work with them to making sure that what you need, even if it's just a single item, right? A pair of shoes or a shirt or a sweatshirt or a you know knitwear item, whatever it is, right? You want to make sure that you are in correspondence with them to just let them know what you need so that they can do their best to take care of you, all right? Um, some cases, you just want to correspond with them to confirm that what you need is actually available, right? Because inventory in some cases is low and there's a deep rush on certain products that, you know, people can't get online, okay? Or even get at another store. Um, so the other thing too is in some cases, you don't know when the store, the store is going to get more of that item if they've sold through it already. Right. Uh, the other reason why you want to stay in touch with your uh, con uh, contact with your style advisor is because you want to stay on top of mind. Right. It's going to maybe get a little bit crazy for some of them, because if they have other people like yourself that they're corresponding with, um, you know, you can kind of get forgotten. Right. Not because they don't love you, but because they have perhaps other people who are also demanding uh, their attention. So you want to just stay top of mind by being in, in whatever frequent, you know, come uh communication you want to be with them you just make sure that what you're looking for is set aside right or until they give you the confirmation that they found what you've asked them to locate for you all right so let's go to number two you want to uh, text to inquire about specific products this kind of goes into you know what i was explaining actually about why you want to be in touch with your style advisor it kind of dovetails into this right so when you are messaging you want to avoid the disappointment of disappearing inventory right or being forgotten about yeah i just kind of uh, covered this right which um uh, which you see here so um it's critical right so just inquire guess about the specific things that you need and just make sure that it's available before you show up to the store if if you're in a position right to make that work third thing you want to leverage visual interactivity apps okay so uh those apps include you know things like whatsapp or facetime or zoom and you want to take advantage of these because you'll be surprised how much you can get done by virtually shopping. Now, I know of one particular retailer, um, in some case, in, in one instance, that they have rooms that are set aside for you to be able to um, face app or I should say FaceTime or Zoom or WhatsApp into so that you can actually see the whole room on display showing you ideal and best gift items that are pre-curated for you to be able to you know have a better sense of what you can get right so take advantage of that all right um, this way there are no surprises if you do end up show, showing up at a store and there's empty shelves right you just want to prepare yourself for that so let's talk about gift buying a little bit um so when it comes to gift buying this holiday season you what you want to do is you want to be very super uh clear uh on what you are getting okay as a gift so in the past we've all had the time to wonder and explore and poke around until something quote unquote jumped out at us now we don't have the same uh, level of ease in shopping that we you know that we used to right or that we're accustomed to so that's why it's so critical to do some looking in some cases online first um, but you know just to tailor this down a little bit you want to do everything you can to know what size someone is right so styles colors brands the fits that they prefer I think you know for the first time you know, we're all in a situation that if someone were to ask, ask us, you know, what our size and um, sizes are and fits and preferences are in order to avoid getting what they're going to get for us wrong, 
and, and keep us from having to go back into the store to return something we would all appreciate that right so you want to do everything in your power without giving it all away to try to get um you know get these particular details from the people that you're going to be getting the gift for gift for or someone who knows them enough to kind of sneak that <laughs> sneak and get that information for you so that you get the get the right gift so for that to work we have to do our best to get the gift right before we even buy it right now we won't get it perfect but close is better than they better like this okay so you don't you want to just do your best to just get the get the gift right um so you know I could give all kinds of examples about this in the case of let's just say Ferragamo shoes right which I am familiar with uh, just as an item um, sometimes those run half size or a whole size smaller right so these are the kind of things you want to be aware of Gucci runs a, a size smaller uh, Montclair's or Canada Goose or Macage whatever it is right that you're getting you know these items run a certain kind of way right again this is why um, working with your style advisor can really be helpful because they can actually help you get the right um, get the right fit right based on the product all right let's talk about the last thing here I want to know the women's equivalent sizes now I know this kind of sounds a little funny but um, if you're gonna be shopping for your lady or your partner um, men's outerwear and shoes can actually fit uh, fit women depending on what style and color they're looking for right when it comes to uh, some designer apparel and, and some footwear um, some brands in particular that stand out are Balenciaga, Givenchy, um, and Dior. Okay, I've seen this uh, happen. Uh, Dior products, especially sometimes, I think it's a couple. Uh, rule of thumb is really a couple um, shoe sizes um, smaller than a men's size really work, right? Um, for for women, again, depending on the item. And these uh, brands are coming out these days with some exclusive products that. It, you know before you know it they're just sold out right so you want to just know these things ahead of time if you end up having to substitute in a men's product for uh, for a woman all right that you have to get for your partner or your significant other all right so um, yeah that's a very very important same thing applies like I mentioned you know, in outerwear last bonus um, tip that I, I have for you is you want to ask for a gift receipt and all right, and the um, business card of the associate that you work with. So you want to use the the gift receipt, of course, traditionally to make it easier for that person to come back and do the exchange. But the thing I mentioned about the business card is really critical. The reason why that's so critical is because you want the same level of service that you received to be extended to the person that you got the gift for. Should they have to come back into the store? Right, because there's nothing worse than um, you get, get having a great experience at a particular store, and then the person that you got the gift for having to return or exchange that gift, and them getting a lesser level of service than you experienced. Especially if you bragged about how great an experience you've had it, um, with that particular uh, establishment. Right. So you want for continuity purposes, you just want to make sure that you are extending that opportunity by getting the sales advisor's contact information. Uh, attaching it to the gift card uh, gift receipt I should say and making sure that your loved one um, is getting that same level of experience okay so that being said um, overall this is you know an unprecedented time right for us to do uh, the shopping that we're that we've been doing um, or we're going to be doing and I really want you to have a safe and meaningful experience and there's no better way I think to do that then should you have to work directly with going to or interacting with a local retail uh, luxury um, retailer then being able to coordinate your efforts with a style advisor right that's that's I think that's going to be the secret ingredient right as opposed to our traditional way of just walking into a store and just sort of you know walking around and hoping and and uh, that you know there's inventory there and that the you know right people are going to be there to help us right so um, so this should help so as I said the effort of, I'm making here is to give you one less thing that that might stress you out right so I want to give you one less thing to stress <laughs> stress over uh, and, and have your mind be cluttered with this year given what what the year has been like and when in doubt reach out to your style advisor or your favorite um, you know sales associate and uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier but sometimes if you don't know what your sales associate 
information is you can always go back into your last email from that shopping with that particular establishment and see whose name is on there okay if you especially if you had a great experience and then call that store and ask for that person okay um, so um, the other thing you want to also be on the watch out, uh, look out for is more videos like this one I'll just do my best to provide one each week just to you know be supportive of the effort because I just know how challenging it can be right um, given what we're up against so that being said I want to thank you for watching if you found value in this of course subscribe to the channel that way you'll be notified when the next video is out and um, if I am your um, style advisor of choice or a personal stylist definitely reach out to me I'd be more than glad to hear from you and of course vice versa I'm looking forward to reaching out to you and connecting so we can make this holiday shopping season as peaceful as possible for you all right thanks for watching we'll see you guys soon